Hi, I'm Janelle, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about math anxiety, what it is, and what to do if you might have it. And I'm Milas. Math anxiety is just as the name suggests, stress about doing math work, but it can be a little bit more complicated than that. Math anxiety can make you feel like you're so terrible at math that's not even worth trying, that you were born with a brain that just doesn't even work for math. We're here to tell you that that's not true and that math is challenging for everybody in a lot of different ways. Math is hard. You might not find math hard right now, but if you keep going up in levels of math, you'll eventually find math challenging. <laughs> That's a big important thing to keep in mind uh, when doing your math work or getting your math test results back. In order to become more at ease with math, you kind of have to embrace the difficulty. If you're okay with math being difficult, if you find that difficulty interesting and compelling, then you'll be able to manage your math anxiety. That's the key. That sounds great for sure, but that's a lot easier said than done. It's frustrating to get a math problem wrong over and over again and to just be confused in math class. I dislike it, and I know Janelle dislikes it too. It's much nicer when everything just falls into place naturally. Oh yeah, for sure. There's some math concepts that I have so much trouble with and that I just dread doing my homework for. Something that has really helped me get past math anxiety is acknowledging that some math work is really hard, but that doesn't mean I'm inherently bad at math. Maybe I just need to be taught that concept in a different way, or maybe I'm, it's just not the concept for me. There's so many different types of math, it's really important not to close yourself off to the subject in general just because you're struggling during one year or one unit. Okay, Janelle, but what if you just don't like math? Like, at all? What if there isn't a single type of math that interests you? Yeah, that's a possibility. Some people don't like math. Maybe they prefer drawing or writing or science. What I want everyone to think about is two big things. One, not liking math is not the same as being bad at math or being anxious about math. Two, people are listening when you say things like, I'm just so bad at math or my brain just doesn't work with math. Our culture is much more math phobic than we may think. And the last thing you wanna do is make math learning difficult for someone else because they believe it's just a natural part of, their, of our culture and of themselves for some people to be just bad at math. Oh yeah, I definitely know what you mean. I've heard about some parents and teachers who tell kids, oh, I'm just not good at math, or oh, math is just so hard for me. It's really important that we teach in an environment that is beneficial to math learners. Studies show that math anxiety in adults can often lead back to a math-phobic culture in their homes or traumatizing math class experiences where a teacher or peer fails to acknowledge the difficulty of math and instead makes fun of the students who are struggling. Moving forward, please make sure that you're thinking about how you're treating your peers and kids when it comes to math. It can really make an impact on them. If you think that you may be feeling anxious about your math work, or if you're concerned about influencing your children to be more math anxious, we've linked a helpful article in the description of this video. Math anxiety is very real and very complicated. I spent the past year researching math anxiety and I still have a lot more to learn. So check out this description for a little bit more information. It's very interesting to think about where your perspectives and attitudes about math come from. So keep thinking and also keep practicing your math work. You will get it. And even if you're having trouble right now, it's especially difficult to learn math in a virtual setting. So make sure you aren't being too hard on yourself about your math understanding right now. Math can open doors to so many wonderful opportunities. And even if you don't uh, end up building bridges, you will still use math in some aspect of your work. Keep an open mind. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more STEM content. We post Wednesdays and Fridays every week, so keep your eye out. And please email us at frc5587 at gmail.com if you have any questions about math anxiety or about our YouTube channel in general. Bye, everyone. See you later.